Ford Focus and Fiesta. Dual clutch transmission, DPS6, power shift, whatever you want to call it. This is how to clean and reuse your clutch forks and your clutch. If you want to do the clutch job for free, here you go. Don't forget the slave cylinder. Here is your slave cylinder from your DPS6. Z washers, you can spray these with brake cleaner, right, uh, wipe them off with a rag. Now this, do not spray directly on the bearings of the brake cleaner, just get it on a rag and wipe around here on both bearings, inner and outer. So wipe right here and wipe right here. Get them clean, make sure this isn't damaged right here. It should be all one solid piece and the bearing should feel smooth and not tight and gritty. And if it is, you're good to clean it up and reuse the bearing. Moving on to the forks now. First thing I'm going to go through here is uh, how to clean the clutch forks. Okay. All right, guys, starting out with the B fork here with the shorter ears. This is the A fork with the wider apart here. Anyway, basically the end result here, you want this to right here be smooth. See how it rotated out? You push down on that and it should retract back smoothly and easily. Um, at the moment, it's really not too uh, seized up, but um, yeah, when, a, when the clutch fork sticks, that can be your issue there. Um, and so I'm going to clean this. I've got some carb cleaner. You can also use some brake parts cleaner. I'm just going to kind of go through here and get on these rollers in there, clean those up, get a little bit in here, flip it over, clean all this up, the rollers here, the mating surface of the rollers right here. You can sort of see where they've been riding right there, right there, and uh, get the surfaces clean. And um, when I'm done, immediately go through and blow dry it here because the uh, cleaner can rot the boot on here and make problems worse. Look how shiny it's getting already. Ooh, feels funny on my hands. Flip it over here. Okay. I don't want to go too liberal with it because this is a $5 can and that's going to last through the other one too. Yeah, pretty much just all the mating surfaces of these rollers here. All right, Let's see how that feels. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A1 perfect. I'm going to repeat that on the B fork here. All right, you guys. That stings a little bit. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, that feels okay. I think that'll be fine. Now, if you go through and clean these and it's, and it's uh, hard to turn still, um, and it feels like it's getting stuck, then you may want to get a new clutch fork because that's not right and that's going to cause an issue down the road. However, it looks like I've lucked out. Yeah. This is all right. All right. All right, you guys. For this portion, I bring you outside on this beautiful Virginia day. Okay. And, um... I'm going to clean all this out of here. Um, you see this debris in here? I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick blow. Headphone users beware. Three, two, one. Oh, mama mia. Whew, don't breathe that. It's not good for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so normally at this point, I'd get a can of brake parts cleaner or carb cleaner and clean all this out but with that. However, let's try something new here. This is some really good stuff. Engine shampoo and degreaser. Oh yeah, really lather that up in there. <laughs> Be mindful, don't get it directly on the seals in there. I do still have the slave cylinder support tower in there. You think that's enough? You th should I keep going? I'm just kidding guys, this is spray foam insulation. No, no. No, don't put that spray foam insulation in your transmission. I'm going to give it about 10 minutes to soak up the dust and debris, and then I'm going to just use a garden hose to rinse it out. 
Um, do be mindful, put a rag in here so no water goes into your axle hole there. Ooh! <laughs> I forgot to put a thing in there to block the axle hole. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Look at all that crap coming out of there. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I just got attacked. <laughs> it's looking better already. I'm going to lather up one more time. Ooh. <laughs> there it is, boys. Let her sit. Before I forget, let me show you how I clean the focus clutches. All right, fortunately for me, I did have this extra clutch sitting around. Um, this is a 10,000 mile clutch out of one of my old focuses I had. Therefore, I don't expect there to be too much dust that comes out of here, but um, just get yourself a strong leaf blower. Yeah, that's a very clean clutch. Not much of anything came out. Um, in your situation, you may find out that a, a big cloud of smoke comes out of this thing. That's good. Get all that out that you can. You don't necessarily have to spray it down with carb cleaner or brake parts cleaner. However, uh, it can't hurt. Yeah, that is a perfectly clean clutch. It's ready to go in already. I won't be recording every single step here of reinstallation because I do have a million different videos on that already. Okay, and I'll put those in the description. I do have a video for reusing the focus clutch without locking it. And I do have a video on how to lock the clutch and make it easier to just drop in and reinstall. I have a video on how to replace the clutch in the forks or remove and install them without any special tools, which I'll also link below. Go into the description below if you need help with anything on how to do this. But um, this is how, once again, I'm cleaning the uh, clutch forks, cleaning the transmission case, and cleaning out the clutch and reinstalling it. And this may take care of your issue where your clutch forks are sticking. Setting codes PO7A3, PO7A5, P287A, etc. And it may be worth a shot for you if you don't feel like uh, spending $650, $700 on a clutch kit. And you don't mind pulling the transmission out and giving this a shot. Did I get you? I'm sorry. It's walking away from me. Look at that grime. If you'd rather use a pressure washer, you can. Just be very careful not to get it in past the seals. You might want to change the fluid in the transmission. Anyway. Alright, that looks like clean water coming out now. So that cleaner's all out. Got it on the shaft here to blow out any water from the seal area. I'm gonna come in here with a brake cleaner and a rag or a t-shirt that I have from my old work. Um, and you see these strips right here. I'll point at it right here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make those sparkly clean because that's for the rollers on the forks ride. And then, this is optional, once these are perfectly clean, you can put a very, very light film of grease right here. Don't put too much, it might collect dust and debris and make your clutch fork stick. However, um, I'm going to focus on getting these clean. And, this area right here, all the way around, right here. Get that clean as well. The grime is really built up on those um, partitions there, so I'm gonna go ahead. If you don't, if you don't have one of these, you can use a little Scotch Brite. But uh... there you have it, boys. Would you look at that? I swear, you could put a, a turkey leg right there and just eat off of it. Okay. Anyway, there you go. That's how you clean the clutch, clean the forks, prep the case for re installation this video this this purpose is to be sort of an intermediate step if you're watching the video on how to replace your clutch and forks and those special tools this video is here for you in case you don't want to in case you want to try reusing everything and you just want to clean everything up and see if that fixes your issue but once again thank you for watching i sure do hope this video helps i do have a facebook and discord group if you want to post your questions you can also post them down in the comments below i'm definitely happy to help and uh, this video, along with all the other Ford Focus and Fiesta transmission videos, will be put in my playlist I have on my YouTube channel for diagnosing and repair of this dual-clutch transmission.
Uh, for about every code and symptom, I have a video for, for the most part, and that should get you pointed in the right direction. So please, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs button so it'll uh, share it with more people and help people out. Anyway, I won't keep you guys too much longer. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Good luck to you.